Today, I am going to tell on myself. I'm going to share with you three orchid potting experiments that did not go well. The first one is a Phalaenopsis orchid, and it's actually in bloom right now. And there are two flower spikes. So just because this orchid's blooming does not mean that all is well. So I decided to pot it up using Leca clay pellets. I just want to show you what they look like. Can you see that? So these Leca clay pellets are very drying and it's just a extraordinarily open potting mix. Orchids can do really well in these Leca clay pellets. Let me just show you. See that? Okay, so these Lekka clay pellets can do really well if you're growing orchids semi-hydroponically or if you are using it as a component to add to the mix. They can help open it up. It doesn't deteriorate. So it has some really good properties, but it can be a little too open for a Phalaenopsis orchid that likes to be slightly damp. So you can see that all of these roots out here are just really really dry and the orchid itself it looks okay like the leaves look pretty good it's in bloom but i think it could be better if it was potted up in a traditional fir bark potting mix with some added components like horticulture charcoal some leca clay pellets some sphagnum moss i think it would be a lot happier plus this pot it's really pretty but it's really open so i think the two combined are not the best thing. So this other one is this Oncidium Shari Baby, okay? And it just finished blooming. So just because it's blooming again, doesn't mean that everything is going as well as we would want it to. So you can see that it just has some really short leaves. These leaves could be this tall. And I think it's because I don't have the right potting mix. So I want to tell you guys another secret. So I've told you about our community, Orchid Buds. So in our community, we share lots of helps and supports and ways to grow orchids better. We have a member in there that has just really gone solid on her Oncidium care. And she has showed us what she does to pot up her Oncidiums. So if you join the community, you can read all about it. But I am going to repot my orchid and I'm going to use her method. And I think it'll go a lot better because the secret to potting up Oncidium orchids is that they're pretty thirsty orchids. They like their roots. They like to drink a lot, but they don't ever want to be soggy. So it's a really sweet spot. So I'm really happy that I have some extra help to grow my orchids with my community. I help them and they help me and it is awesome. In fact, we were named one of the top communities for Circle, which is the platform that we use to host our community. So I think that's really exciting. And I have high hopes for this on Cydium using this new potting method. Okay, this one's really embarrassing. So this is this Catlia. And I had read somewhere that said that um, they'd seen Catlia orchids that did really well, even without potting them. So I thought that I would try that experiment and see what happened. And it's actually doing really, really well. <laughs> but, and it blooms and it has new growths and it looks really good, except like I really should do this orchid a favor and I need to repot it. So I'm waiting for some new growths to appear and that is the very best time to repot it is when you see like these little green beginnings of new roots. And as soon as that happens, I'm going to finish this experiment and I'm going to repot it as it deserves. So I hope that my mistakes and my experiments will be for your benefit and that you will 
repot up your orchids, and I also hope that you will join our community and get all of these insider tips because it has been so helpful and so fun, and we would love to have you join us. So it's Orchid Buds, and I'll leave a link in the description. So if this video helped you, then I hope that you'll like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.